dark and lonely void with boiling gulf, the fiend now passed as he moved through limbo, and long he wandered, till at last a gleam of light appeared within a glimmering door. He turned his travelled steps towards that beam, and ere long in the distance there appeared, ascending by degrees magnificent up to the wall of heaven, a structure high, a top whereof, but far more rich, appeared the work of a kingly palace gate. On that all clearing land the sun now landed, whereby it soon swore again the glorious image. The land was the spirit in pure as now in hope to find all might direct his wandering flight to paradise. The happy city man, his journey's end, and our beginning woe. But first he has to change his proper shape. And now a struggling cherubim appears, not of the kind yet, such as his face was, sinister, but every bit, so always diffused. <laughs> advised. God made thee perfect, not immutable. He left it in thy power, did thy will, by nature free, not overruled by fate. To love or not, in this we stand or fall, and some are fallen, to disobedience fallen. And so from heaven to deepest hell. We knew not to be both well and deed created free, yet that we never shall forget to love our Maker and obey Him whose command is single, is yet so just. came a day in heaven on which the Father infinite begot his only Son, appointing him the head of all his host, his right hand, our own Lord. All seemed well pleased with this, but all were not. Satan, so call him now, his former name is heard no more in heaven. He was then fraught with envy against the Son of God. That day deep malice didst conceive and her disdain. With lies he led his legions. Now storming fury rose with horrid shock. And clamor such as heard in heaven till now was never. Arms on armor clashing, great horrible discord, and the madding wheels a brazen chariot drag. Down was the noise of conflict. For two days, full war was raged until the wall of heaven, which opening wide, rolled inward and the wasteful void disclosed. Headlong 
themselves they threw down from the verge of heaven. At thy request, and that thou mayst beware by what has passed, to thee I thus reveal the discord which befell, and war in heaven among the angelic powers, and the deep fall of those two high aspiring, who rebelled with Satan, he who envies now thy state, who now is plotting how he may seduce thee also from obedience. But listen not to his temptations, Eve. Firm they might have stood yet fell. Remember and fear to transgress. She gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Was she thy God, that her thou didst obey before his voice? I did eat. Sin, yet from that sin derive corruption. 